Hello there. If we haven't met before, my name's Craig Bailey and in these videos, I'm going to walk you through using HubSpot's custom report builder tool. We're going to start very simple and then grow into a little bit of complexity over the coming videos. And I recommend this for someone getting started. I actually want to start with the custom report builder top right here. I'm going to click this now and I'm going to go through building probably the easiest and most simple report that you can. And the reason I've done this as opposed to using say sample reports here which we could get is because I think it's important to learn from first principles and then come back and do the templates. Otherwise you might actually start using templates and not realize all the fundamentals behind it. Maybe that's just the way my brain works. Maybe you're different. Anyway, that's what we're going to do today. Now you can join across objects. Contacts are an object. Companies are an object. Deals are another object. Tickets, etc. There's a whole bunch of objects that you can join across. We'll do that in future videos. Today, we're just going to look at contacts. I'm going to go next. And here we are in the main report builder interface. You'll see down the left-hand side in this first uh, sidebar, you've got all the different contact properties that you could choose from. The middle column, even though it's to the left, is really how you configure things. This is quite often where people get totally confused. And then on the right hand side is the resulting visualization or report result. What we're actually going to choose is a few things. We're going to choose count of contacts. I'm just going to click a plus on that. See how it drops down to the bottom here. They're the fields I can choose from. And I'm going to choose one more, create date. I'm going to add that, which means it's, see it's added it down the bottom. But if I hover over it, there's this little filters. I'm actually going to add that to filters and we'll see where that pops up in a second. Okay, so what have we done so far? We've got some fields that we're going to use. And then there's actually this create date that's popped into filters. We're not actually going to use that yet. I'll come back later towards the end and we'll do that. All right, so what are we going to do? We've got an x-axis and y-axis dependent on the chart. We've got a bar chart. There's different chart types. We'll get into that in a future video. I'm going to stick with bar chart. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag this up here, the create date monthly, and then I'm going to put the counter contacts into the y-axis. And it'll build it out over on the right-hand side. Okay, so you can see here, this is our very first report. We've built it from scratch. It is very simply how many contacts did we have get created in each of those months. And if I hover back over this, you can see September 2013. That was probably when we started using HubSpot or, or started getting contacts coming into HubSpot at least. And then you've got over the years and then it starts to get bigger over some of these months. All right, so you've created your very first report. And you can see that there. Now I'm actually just going to go into filters and say, well, what's if we wanted to limit this instead of all time? Let's just bring it to, and you can see all the different criteria here. And we'll actually just say is after, and I'm going to choose the start of last year. We can do it this, this way. So after, oh, actually I meant um, 20. And what you'll see is we should see this uh, graph, all this bar chart on the right hand side get narrowed down. Let's apply that and you'll see in a second when it refreshes. Okay, so now we've just started at January 2021 to January 2022. We've filtered it, uh, we've configured it and now we could name it. So I'm actually going to call this for want of a better name. We'll get into naming conventions in a future video as well. And then I could save it. I could add it to a, a dashboard. I'm not going to. I'm just going to say next and save. And that's where we're going to leave it in this first video. That is probably the simplest report you could build from scratch. And I'll see you in the next video when we're going to dive into some of the date functionality possible in HubSpot custom reports.